Hello everyone, and sorry I've been away for over a week with no reviews, but I had a cold that was kicking my butt. So, to reintroduce myself... Mark the Movie Man, mother... Back, my friends of the show that never ends, though it does take a hiatus once in a while. Yes, the final cut. And today we're taking a look at a great film called FDR, the American Badass. How cool is that title? All right, we get the story of FDR, one of our most favorite presidents, as he hits polio from the bite of werewolves, which then sends him on a mission to rid the world of werewolves, also progress up the political ladder, and take out depre the depression and prohibition all single-handedly with the help of his rocket-launching, machine-gun-shooting uh, wheelchair, the Delano 2000. Oh, if... I'm sorry, folks. This, every time I think of this movie, it makes me laugh. Now, first off, you, if you've seen the trailer, which I did at the beginning of the year, you know exactly what you're in for. You should not be under any, any disguise or any false ideas of what this film is. This film is over-the-top ridiculousness, cheesy, great, just fun, okay? You're supposed to just totally just let... Okay, I, I the film is like this melting pot. You take uh, the uh, vulgar the vulgar comedy of today's comedies, okay, like Hangover, okay, throw that in the pot. Then you take the brilliance and timing and the storytelling of an early Zucker Brothers fi uh, film, say like Airplane, throw that in the pot, pepper in some actual historical yet abridged facts in there, and what you got yourself is this melting pot of hilarity that just has to be seen to believe, okay? The jokes come at you nonstop. It is unabating and unapologetic for the jokes it comes out with. Everybody does delivers beautiful performances. I mean, Barry Boswick does a great FDR. I love, he actually carried the voice out throughout the film, you know, and he just, he all oh, his delivery and just his effort in his film, he totally gets behind his character and owns it. You also got Lynn Shea in here as his wife. She's got some great dialogue. You got Bruce McGill as Lewis, FDR's right-hand man. Uh, you got uh, Ray Weiss as Douglas MacArthur, and yes, Kevin Sorbo as the ghost of Lincoln. Folks, th this movie's just meant for fun, and it was. Oh, I haven't laughed so hard in quite some time. And, and it was great. And, and, you know, the little parts where they might not have some jokes or something going on are just enough to give you to breathe before you start laughing again. Ross Patterson, who wrote this and also plays Cleavon Buford in the movie very well, uh, wrote this script and uh, it just... It fires at you. It's a brilliant script in so many ways. And, and the director, Garrett uh, Browith, he, he's newer. He hasn't really directed too much outside, I think, Pool Boy last year. He really handles these people well. Everybody is behind this project and is trying to make it the most fun as possible. And they accomplish this. Folks, FDR, American Badass, should be voted into office because this film is just, just, you can't help but laugh, okay? Now again, it is vulgar humor, and there were a few jokes in there that I thought ooh, did not need to be in there. A couple of uh, blatant poop jokes, if you will. But outside of that, it just, it floored me how funny this film actually was. I thought from the trailer that it was going to be ridiculous fun. I didn't expect this much, and this much laughter, and this much hilarity from this historic film. <laughs> Well, historic, putting it very lightly. Folks, if FDR, American Badass, is available on PS3, it's like six bucks. Trust me, it's worth it. Get a group of friends together. Pop some popcorn, sit back, and prepare not to eat the popcorn because you'll be laughing too hard, okay? FDR, American Badass, is definitely for those who have an open mind, can handle the vulgar humor, and just want to see a fun comedy that reminds you of the Zucker Brothers comedies of old. That's right, five stubs, folks. Five stubs, FDR, American Badass, 
right there for the movie man i definitely have to get this film and once you watch it if you enjoy this type of comedy you will say the same thing and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep it together